Hey everyone, this is Juan from Ken Hub, and on this histology tutorial, we will be discussing a type of connective tissue, which is known as the dense connective tissue. Now, the first question in your mind might be, what is connective tissue? I think it's the most important thing to answer, and connective tissue is the most abundant tissue in your body. It provides form and structure to the rest of the body's tissues, so without it, you'd be an unrecognizable mess. The term connective tissue is broad and covers a wide range of structures. And those structures include tendons, bone, fat, and even blood are all classed as connective tissue. Generally, connective tissue is comprised of cells and then something else called an extracellular matrix. Here we see a micrograph showing connective tissue highlighted in green. Connective tissue functions to then surround other organs and tissues, provides structural and metabolic support. It also binds structures together and even assists in tissue repair. Connective tissue can be classed into three different categories, which are connective tissue proper, embryonic connective tissue, and what is known as specialized connective tissue. In this tutorial, we'll only be looking at connective tissue proper. There are two types of connective tissue proper. There is loose connective tissue and dense connective tissue. As I mentioned earlier, we will be focusing on the dense connective tissue in this tutorial. Aside from the cell types that comprise connective tissue, it can also be infiltrated by other cell types, such as the ones we see here, which are called plasmocytes. Plasmocytes are also known as plasma cells or plasma B cells. These antibody secreting cells are also known as wandering cells because although they are found in connective tissue, they do not reside in or are not fixed within this tissue type. And this is relevant for us in this tutorial because plasmocytes can also be found in dense connective tissue. During the rest of this tutorial, I'll be giving you an overview of the properties and functions of dense connective tissue. And after this, we'll go into more detail about its two subtypes, which are dense irregular collagenous tissue and dense regular collagenous tissue. Now let's dive in and take a closer look at dense connective tissue. Here we see a micrograph of dense connective tissue taken from the apex of the lung. As we just saw, dense connective tissue is the type of connective tissue proper. And as the name suggests, it is more dense than other types of connective tissue. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.